What is up everybody, it is Ashley and today I'm going to be doing a vlog of Christ Fellowship and what that is, is it's a church and it's really nice and they usually sing and they're, they have like this really big TV where this other pastor from the same church but located somewhere else um, speaks and gives like a bunch of sermons and it's really nice because they don't force you to do anything and yes I did dye my hair I have to re-dye it next weekend and I'm gonna get my nails done maybe I'll do a vlog on that but this is my dog and Also, I usually don't wear like shirts like this, but um, my aunt and uncle went to New York, so they brought me back this shirt. We had awesome services at all of our campus locations with more people coming out to celebrate the birth of Jesus than ever before. It was a beautiful service and we had lots of fun together. And we saw literally thousands of people start a relationship with Christ. We want to give a huge thank you and a shout out to everyone who served on the Dream Team to make it all happen. We could not have done it without you. We also had the opportunity to give our Christ birthday offering. And next week, we're going to be ready to give you an update on what we have given together so far. And if you didn't get a chance to give... For this is your year. Mountains aren't meant to be climbed, but conquered. Freedom isn't a spectator sport. It's meant to be lived. Because who the sun sets free is free to hope, free to be. Free to live. Resolution in 2019. Be set free starting January 5th and 6th. Happy New Year. I mean, we might as well be the first ones, huh? Don't you think? To, to say that, what a great privilege it is for me to share with you today. I'm very excited. And uh, we're going to talk about you having your best year ever in 2019. Now, as we close out this year, there are literally, on all of our campuses, I'm sure, thousands of people who raised their hands and said, this was my greatest year. It was just a, it was a banner year. And I'll bet there'd also be thousands of people who raised their hand and say, I am so glad this year is about over. You know, sometimes, the, sometimes our favorite verse is, this too shall pass. And uh, so how, many, how many of you, how many of you are ready for a new year? Huh? You, re you ready for a new year? Okay. And, and here's, okay, let me ask you this. How many of you are ready, not only for a new year, but how many of you are ready for the best year? Come on, huh? Best year, best year you've ever had. I mean, this, we're, we're ready for it. And, and what I'm excited about is, is I'm going to share with you in today's lesson, I'm going to share with you how to have your best year. In fact, if you want 2019 to be the year that you really want to be, here is, here's, here's the secret of making it a great year. Every day, serve someone. Every day. Every day, I die to people. Every day, serve one. Every day, live the intentional life of, of, of doing for others, sometimes what they cannot do for themselves. And if you will put people first and add value to them and serve them, it becomes absolutely amazing what you and I are going to have and achieve how we're going to help people, and in return, how it comes back to us. Benjamin Franklin said this, no one is useless in this world who lightens the burden of someone else. If you're, if you're helping someone else lift a, a, a load in your life, you, you become a very useful person. But Hot and Gandhi said that the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. But perhaps on, on this kind of a theme, my, my favorite quote is from Albert Schweitzer, who said, I don't know what your destiny will be, but... One thing I do know, the only ones among you who will be really happy are those who have sought and found how to serve. Well, he's right on. 
The happiest people are not always the most successful people, but they're the ones who serve the best. I, I, I've met a lot of unhappy, successful people, haven't you? But I've never met, never met an unhappy person that gave their life for serving and giving and adding value to other people. Value people, I'll never add value to them. I'll manipulate them, I'll do all kinds of bad things. But it all begins with valuing people. Does that make sense to you? So every day I value people. By the way, that's Jesus-like. That's what Jesus, if you say I want to be Christ-like, just value people. Every day I value people. Number two, every day I think of ways to add value to people. In other words, I'll look at my schedule in the morning, I'll say where I'm gonna go, who I'm gonna see perhaps, and I'll say, okay, what can I do to add value to those people? I, I think of ways to add value to people. Number three, every day I look for ways to add value to people. So that when I'm with you, so when I'm with you, I'm looking for something. What can I do for right, for right now? What can I do for them that would add value to them? So, every day I value people. Think of ways that value people. Look for ways that value people. Number four, every day I do things that value people. Every day. In fact, at the end of the day, the last thing I do every evening is I do a 10 minute inventory of my day. And one of the questions I ask is, who did I add value to today? Who did I serve today? Okay? Every day. Every day. I value people. Think ways that value people. Look for ways that value people. Do things that add value people. And number five, I encourage others to add value to me. I do those five things every day. And, and I'm just telling you, if you'll just do those five things every day of 2019, and, and, and every one of you can do that. If you'll just do those, if you'll just do those, those five things every day, 2019 will be unbelievable to you. 